this is my first video tutorial and if I don't do anything wrong I hope it's not gonna be the last but for this I beg you that after watching this movie please give me a feedback you can write anything that you didn't like it was terrible or maybe that you like it so before we can start let me introduce myself my name is Luciano Sampaio I'm from Brazil I'm the lead developer of Apollo Media and in charge now to bring not only to my co-workers but also to you or anyone that is interested some video tutorials about the most common tasks you will probably find out on your day job I believe I will be making at least three two or three of these videos tutorial every week for the very first tutorial I'll talk about something very basic but that has a big importance for the company I work for which is how can we make multilingual websites without the need to spend too much time but always with the high quality partners on our minds and now you can ask me why should I bother creating a website for more than one language well first you have to think who's your website's target it is only your city your country or the whole world because like Canada, which I assume everybody knows, it's an official bilingual country, so people can either speak English or French. That's why I decided to create this tutorial, which is supposed to show you some of the options you might have to accomplish this, this task. But it does not mean it's always the only or better way to do it. So like my friend likes to say, knowledge is power, use it at your own risk. Okay. So we're gonna create now our first example. Let's create our sample. But because this is the first one, we also need to create a blank solution where I will save the future tutorials, okay? So let's just call the code master. And the first website, let's just call localization and globalization okay Visual Studio automatically created the default page for us that's fine we don't need to, do any, to delete so let's just add a table on it with three rows and just one column the width of 100% okay. let's delete some styles that we don't need What we will need to add is just a line center to make things a little bit better. Okay. So now we can start adding some controls to our page. Let's add a hyperlink. So we can refresh the page. We don't need any tags. And let's put the navigate URL to the default page. Okay. I have to add the two images that I have here one from Brazil and the other from Canada let's just add here the code master if we refresh the solution now we can see it okay so, so let's put an image control in our page and the name will be I'm MG entrance and pretty much that's it for the layout of our page so what we want to do now is localize our website. So how can we do that? We have two options, okay? The first option, you can right click on your web project and add ASP.NET folder. So you have all these options, but for the resources that we are gonna use in this tutorial will be the global resources and the local resource. I'll talk about global resource in a minute. So if you add the local resource and then you, ha you have the option to add the resource file, okay? So what we will do is you localize a single page. That's what local resource does. Or the other ver uh, option you have is let the Visual Studio do does the job for you. How? Well, we have to click on the design page and go to Tools, Generate Local Resources. When you do this, the Visual Studio automatically create that folder the files and also create this meta attributes to our servers okay so if you go to this source now you'll see that all this uh, server controls have have this meta attributes now okay so if you see now we have the name of the page dot resax which means this is the resource file for this page but as you can see here there is no 
language specified so it means that this is the default version okay I'm gonna show in a minute how to you can do it for a specific specific language so let's just put here English and we also want to change this to image URL you have to make sure you type this correct because it's case sensitive so if you do something wrong the compiler will not know that you did something wrong okay we can just save now and to create for another language you can just copy and paste and change just need to add the language now PT which is Portuguese slash PR which is Brazil perfect this is the language so we want to localize when you want to localize a page it must be the name of the page dot the name of the language slash the name of the country if there is more than one like Portuguese from Brazil Portuguese from Portugal or English from Canada English from US and so on so far so we can just open the file now and start translating so atualizar we just need to change here to Brazil here we'll put Portuguese page we can save and we can run the page now so yeah we need to add the web config file so you'll see as the default what it happens as it's showing that page that it's using the resource that it, there is no language specified okay but you can be intriguing like how does the server know which version to send to the client so what happens is every time your browser requests a page in the same time it also sends some information about you which information is this well, one of them it's the language you want to see the website it's your preference language you can check and go if you go to tools internet options languages so as you can see here the language preference for my browser is specified English English from Canada but we can add other languages let's just add Portuguese now uh, Portuguese from Brazil so if you're in doubt which uh, which letters you have to use you can always check here okay so let's put Portuguese at a high priority or press OK OK and refresh the browser so when we refresh you see that the page changed but you we don't need anything right so the browser is sending a request to the server and saying okay I want to see this page and if you have the option to has to support multilingual websites please give me the Portuguese version okay so this is pretty awesome we don't need to do anything the, the framework understands that and sends always the right version to the client so if you change again go back to the Canada version 